Hi, and welcome to part three of my video series, What to Expect During Your First USPSA Match. For all of the following demonstrations, I have made sure that my gun is not loaded, and I'll be using Snapcast, which are dummy rounds that allow the gun to be dry fired and cycled safely. So now you have all of your gear together, and you want to shoot your first match. But where do you find that match? My recommendation would be to talk to the person who first introduced you to USPSA. But, some other options are, if you visit USPSA.org, under the Find Matches section, you will find all of the listings for the local matches in your area. Or, under the Find Clubs section, you can find all of the local clubs that are associated with USPSA, and if you contact one of them, they'll be more than happy to provide you with more information. Once you arrive at your first match, go ahead and sign in and pay your entrance fee. Also, be sure to let them know that this is the first time you'll be shooting a USPSA match. Once you sign in, you can go ahead and gear up. You can put on your holster, belt, magazines, mag magazine holders, and you can also load your magazine. Ten rounds of magazine for the production division. But at this time, leave your gun in its gun case. We will talk more about that in a minute. Depending on the size of club you'll be shooting at, there will either be one stage shot at a time, and once everybody completes that stage, the stage is reset for the next one. Or if the club is large enough, multiple stages will be shot at the same time, and you'll be broken up into smaller groups to shoot those stages. Once everybody completes their stage, you rotate to the next stage. With every stage, there will be a stage briefing. The briefing gives you a general description of what the stage looks like, the stage procedures, and the scoring method used. There are two scoring methods most commonly used by USPSA, and they are Comstock and Virginia Count. With Comstock, your time is unlimited, and the number of rounds you can shoot is also unlimited. With Virginia Count, your time is unlimited, but there's a maximum number of shots you can fire. If you go over that maximum number, you will incur a penalty. This is what a USPSA target looks like. It's cardboard on one side, and this is the side you'll be shooting at, and it's white on the other side. These generally signify no shoots. So if you hit them, points will be deducted. There are perforations on the front that separate this out into other er smaller areas. They are kind of hard to see, so what I've done is I've outlined them in permanent marker to make them easier to see. You have Alpha, Bravo, Charlie, and Delta. The Alpha is like hitting a bullseye, and you get the highest points per shot. Delta, you get the least amount of points per shot. If you miss, points are deducted. Also, if you happen to see a target that has black spray paint on it, the, bl the black area counts as hardcover, and if you hit it, it counts as a miss. Once you have all of your gear on, you will have your holster and your magazine holders with loaded magazines. You will have a fifth magazine. This is the one that goes in your gun. And you can either have a fifth magazine holder to hold this one, or I like to just put it in my pocket. When you're ready to holster your gun, Look around, there will be a spot specifically designated as the safety area. This is the only place you're allowed to handle your gun, for other than if you're out on the line shooting. When you're ready to holster your gun, walk over to the safety area, and there will be a direction that's designated as the safe direction. Go ahead and pull your gun out of its case, leave the magazine well empty, make sure it's not loaded, and go ahead and holster it. If you need to handle the gun during the course of the match for any reason, such as cleaning it, checking your sights, dry fire practice, field stripping it, or magazine reload practice, go back to the safety area. When the match is over and you're ready to go home, to put your gun away, same thing, go back to the safety area, make sure that your gun's not loaded in the safe direction, and put it away in this case. Now that you have your gun holstered, go ahead and grab your ear protection, eye protection, and head down to the field. Once everybody arrives at the first stage, the range officials will go over with you the stage briefing. 
They will explain exactly what's expected of you and how the stage will be run. This is the time to ask any questions that you have, no matter how small, because the range officials will explain everything to you. There are at least two range officials per stage. The first gives the shooter command. The second handles the paperwork and has the order of shooters. They will announce who's up, who's on deck, who's in the hole, and who's in the deep. The order of shooters is generally random, but if you mention that you were a beginner when you signed up, the range official will make sure that you're not the first person up. So you'll get to see at least three or four people shoot before you. Some things to watch for. When the shooter is done shooting and scoring is complete, the holes in the targets get pasted up. If everybody chips in and helps, the match goes way faster. Also, if you pay attention, the range official who is giving the shooter commands is holding a timer. This is a special timer called a shot timer. It's very similar to a track and field timer, such that it has a tear function that allows the time to run in the background, but it allows you to record the time that's captured when tears hit. The difference being is the shot timer listens for a shot to be fired, and then hits the tear function. So what that allows you to do is to record the, sh the time that your last shot was fired. Your name will be called when it's your turn. Go ahead and walk over to the start line and the range official will now give you some very specific commands. They are, make ready, are you ready, stand by, if finished shooting, show clear, if clear, hammer down the holster. And it goes something like this. First the official will say, make ready. If you're not already wearing it, go ahead and put on your hearing protection. Grab the magazine that was in your pocket. Draw your gun and chamber around. Be sure to keep your finger off the trigger and go ahead and reholster. The range official will now ask, are you ready? You can either nod, or if you don't say anything at all, it is assumed that you're ready. Next, they will say, stand by. After that, you will hear a buzzer. That buzzer signifies the start. Go ahead and draw your gun and begin to shoot your course to fire, reloading when necessary. When you are finished shooting, wait for a second. The ranger official will walk over and say, if finished shooting, show clear. To do this, first you eject your magazine. Next, you cycle the slide to eject the live round that's in the chamber. Next, lock the slide back and show the range official that the chamber is empty. Next, the range official will say, if clear, hammer down and holster. Bring your slide forward again, dry fire the gun in a safe direction, and holster. Once you have your gun holstered, go ahead and pick up the magazines that you dropped on the ground and the round that you just ejected from the chamber. Be sure to wipe these off before reusing them. Next, your time will be recorded and the range official will walk around the stage and record your score. You can watch them and see how this is done. Some things that I feel require mentioning. The only time you're allowed to have your finger on the trigger is when you're shooting at a target. You are not allowed to have your finger on the trigger while you're moving or while you're reloading. Because my gun is equipped with a ambidextrous magazine release, what I like to do is use my index finger to release the magazine instead of using my thumb. That way there's absolutely no question about whether my finger was on the trigger. Also, you never want to break the 180 meaning that you always want to shoot forward and you never ever ever want to turn around with the gun. This is grounds for being disqualified. Also, if your gun is equipped with a magazine disconnect, meaning that the gun cannot be dry fired to hammer down without a magazine being inserted, you will need to have a sixth empty magazine. Before you start shooting, be sure to let the range official know that your gun is equipped with a magazine disconnect. Show them the empty magazine and let them know that you will have this in your pocket to hammer down. 
So the course of fire will look like this. If clear, hammer down and holster. Put your slide forward. Grab the empty magazine. Put it into your gun. Dry fire it. Eject the magazine. Holster your gun. Sure, this is an extra step, but if your gun is equipped with a magazine disconnect, it's something that has to be done, and this in no way, shape, or form affects your score or time. My gun, which is a Ruger SR9C, is equipped with a magazine disconnect from the factory, but for the purposes of competition, I have disabled that safety. If you're curious to see on how I did that, post in the comments section, and I'll be sure to put together a video illustrating on exactly how this is done. Also, USPSA has some very specific rules on how to make ready. And this is in reference to whether your gun is a double action, single action, or selective fire. If your gun is like mine, and it is striker fired, barring a few small exceptions, most of these are considered double action. And what you do is draw your gun, insert your magazine, chamber round, and then reholster the gun to make ready. If your gun is single action, such as a Colt 1911, what you have to do is draw the gun, insert your magazine, cycle the slide, and then turn on the manual safety and reholster your gun. And what happens when you, uh, you hear the start signal, you would draw the gun, turn off the manual safety, and then proceed to shoot your course of fire. If you're going to select a fire, you have the option of whether making ready double action or making ready single action and then turning on the manual safety. But, uh, as an example, I recently shot with a gentleman who had an older Sig Sauer, which is select a fire for single action or double action, but the gun lacked a manual safety. So what he would have to do is insert a magazine, chamber around, and then decock the hammer to make a double action holster to then shoot. This completes your first stage. A general match will have three stages and after you complete this one you will move on to the other two which will be very similar. Thank you for watching and if you have any questions or comments, ideas for other videos, things that you would like clarified, or if you just like my videos, well, please post in the comments section. For my next video, I was going to do scoring, but what I've decided to do is separate the major and minor power factor and general scoring into their own videos. So, please stay tuned for my next video on major and minor power factor. Thank you for watching.